la 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 hello everyone and welcome to a very very special eurovision hub live hangout we haven't had one of these in so long but of course it is a special occasion because we have just finished watching the junior eurovision song contest 2020 from poland with our winners of course being france felicitation france a valentina a valentine who is here with us one of our french reactors um let's say a quick hello to everybody in the chat hello adele hello florence hello lisa matthew hello yesi latvia we're going to go around really quickly and introduce ourselves before we get started with all of the chatting my name is louise and i am from ireland my name is julia and i'm from sweden my name is Valentin and I'm from France. And I'm Iago from the beautiful Spain. <laughs> hey, and we will do a very important shout out to Spain. Um, well, let's get started, folks, and chat, please join in with us on this. We're going to go around and talk about our two or three highlights from the show each, who we are favorite performers. The highlight might not necessarily be a performance. It could have been an interval act or something else that happened. Uh, Julia, why don't we start with you? Um, my, the thing that surprised me the most is was the performance of Kazakhstan. I literally had my jaw on the floor. Like I, it was like time stopped. I don't know what happened. I love the song, but it wasn't that memorable for me. But that performance was beautiful. I had chills. I was so I was so happy for her coming second. That made me so happy. She really deserved it. And yeah, that's the one thing I'm going to take away from this was how amazing that performance was. Fantastic. Was there anything else for you, Julia, or was Kazakhstan the standout? I mean, they all did such an amazing job. These kids are amazing, so amazing. And I really enjoyed the show. Fantastic. Valentine, do we need to even ask you what was your highlight? Well, I will not talk about France because we're going to talk it after. But yeah, for like I interviewed Valentina, she was so freaking cute and I'm happy for her and yeah. Uh, but I think I think that the highlight for me, it was Germany because Germany, the staging and the song was very cool and I was not ready for that. <laughs> she was so cute. And yeah, Germany was really good, I think. And for the first time in this uh, Eurovision uh, junior, I think it was pretty good. Uh, also, I really loved uh, the performance with Duncan Lawrence and Vicky and the other arena. Oh. It was amazing. And she, Duncan Lawrence was an hologram during it, and I was not even noticing it. It was so like, what? <laughs> but yeah, I think this is my two highlights. So yeah. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. And you, Iago? Uh, I'm going to go with the idea of Kazakhstan being one of the best ones tonight, she really surprised me. She impressed her vocals like a lot, so moving. I think it would be a very deserving winner. Uh, yeah, and for me, I think it was my, my biggest surprise also Kazakhstan, because I'm not gonna point out the, now the some movements from some countries, but yeah, so I'm gonna say Kazakhstan. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> I think it's no surprise for anyone I've spoken to, the Netherlands have been my highlight throughout this whole thing. I love the Dutch selection. I love how they do things. I love how seriously they take it. Can we talk about, in that interval act of Move the World, the Unity Girls brought choreo. Everybody else was standing and singing and the Dutch girls were like, yeah, yeah. Da, da, they got their own like, stage. They were like... Oh. <laughs> Girl band realness, I love, love them. I want to shout out to Spain too. I really, really do. Um, one of their best entries, probably my favorite of their entries, I think. I did love Marte last year too, but they just did amazingly. Another very well deserved top three for Spain. And another just big highlight for me was just when those results were being announced. Valentina jumping up and down in the green room. It was just mm -hmm. so nice. And I do think since France have returned, they have just been working and working and working for that win, for these good results that they're getting, just like Spain have. It's been great to see Germany back this year, you know, another big five country. I'm hoping 
this win and these good results for these big five countries is going to encourage more countries to come back to the contest it will be great to have some more countries joining us hashtag join us um next year so yeah it was a really really good show overall really enjoyed it loved the interview with duncan lawrence too mm -hmm. that was up there um but i have mentioned like five or six highlights so i could just go on um <laughs> let's check in with the chat see if there's any highlights in here um Kazakhstan is being pointed out, mm -hmm. the Netherlands, France, kind of a lot of what we have said. Um, so you can keep your um, comments coming in the live chat. The next thing we're going to discuss is the results. Did any of the results surprise us, good or bad? Uh, we would like the chat to join in on this too and let us know. Um, Let's start with you, Valentine. Are there any results that you didn't expect? Well, I think I talked about Germany, and I think that that finishing last was not the thing that I would do. But also France having so much points from the public was, well, I was shocked. And yeah, I think that was my highlight for the shocking uh, performance. And I think that the top three are amazing, and I love it. I love the top three. So yeah. Fantastic. Uh, what about you, Iago? I think you are muted, my dear. <laughs> Hello. Hi. There you go. There you Did go. any results surprise you? Yeah, I would say that I'm surprised also about Georgia and the girl like looks super happy about having so many points from the jury. Yeah, definitely that. For sure. Mm. And that was sad because she was alone in her like green room. Yeah. I was like, no. <laughs> yeah. I felt kind of bad. Why is she sitting alone? I felt, but she looked super happy. And I guess that's all it makes sense. Yeah. My thing is that I really did think Poland was going to get up higher. I really, really did. Um, mm -hmm. Not that they did badly, but I really thought they were going to be like top five, top six. Um, and they came eighth. So I think that's the most surprising part. Um, surprisingly, the Kazakhstan did come second, which makes me really happy, but I did not predict that before, beforehand. But um, yeah, top five, amazing, amazing. Yeah, I agree with you, Julia. I had pipped Poland to potentially come in and try and steal the win at one point. Mm -hmm. um, I did think it would come down to Poland and Spain. The online vote not coming in as strong for Poland at all. Um, the jury, yeah, and the jury and the online vote nearly agreeing with each other about Poland. Um, yeah, and I agree with you, Valentine. Germany last on their debut. I was hoping people would throw yeah. them a few extra points to be like, thanks for joining us. Um, yes. I, I definitely don't think that was a last place song. Um, Kazakhstan, I knew was going to do well. But oh my gosh, coming in second. And I really, I wasn't sure at the end how many points were left in it for France to get. But I was sitting there thinking, Kazakhstan could have this. What is going to happen? Mm -hmm. yeah. We're adults. If Kazakhstan win junior, uh, that really, really could have been something. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and some of the points were surprising too. Um, the 12 points were generally well spread out. Uh, I know I sent a really shrieky voice note to a couple of you when the Netherlands got their 12 <laughs> points. <laughs> In the beginning, I was like, yes! Um, but I like that a lot of uh, mm. different countries got 12 points. Um, looking at the chat, Matthew said he was ecstatic with the top five. I was too. Mm -hmm. um, somebody's saying Germany probably not going to come back. Mm -mm. Do you think they'll come back, guys? I think so. Yeah, I, I, I hope so. Yeah. Yeah. I don't see why not. Um, somebody saying France giving 12 points to Serbia is a joke. I mean, I don't know. Maybe that's just how the jury felt. We we can't speculate on that one. Yeah. Um, yeah. Poland, Kazakhstan, France, super talented people. I think we agree with that. Um, I must say, I'm really happy for Georgia because Georgia obviously came out with their song so recently and we've heard all the other songs for so long for us to keep up with the contest mm -hmm. that people were actually grabbed by it mm -hmm. by the short amount of time and they got amazing results. That makes me really happy because it is an amazing song. Um, 
For sure, sixth place of 12, and people didn't have that long to. Exactly. Yeah, for sure. Uh, we have lovely Joanne saying congratulations to France in the chat. Um, a lot of people are wanting Germany to come back. Um, we're hoping, Neil, hello, Neil, saying that he thinks we'll get a lot of countries back. When this situation has gone away, I think we certainly hope so. Um, and bearing in mind that these are children, I hope that they all had fun. And I think that's ultimately yeah. the message of today. Um, but these amazing children came out and gave their all and did amazing performances for their country. Um, now, moving on to what we also want to talk about. Felicitations, la France. <laughs> Uh, what do we think of the winner? Was it our own personal winner? I think it's only right that we start with you, Valentine. How do you feel about the win? Merci beaucoup. <laughs> um, I'm I'm kind of happy for her because I, as you know, I interview her and she was so happy to represent France, and she was so cute and so nice. She and her song was so colorful and positive and. Yeah, I, I think during those times of pandemic and everything, having so much color and so much positiveness, I think this was amazing. And I, I just love her and I'm so happy for her. So, yeah, I'm happy. And, and, I, and I can go to Eurovision Junior next year because it's in France. Yeah. Where do you think <laughs> it would be hosted, Valentine? Paris, obviously. <laughs> With obviously. the Eiffel Tower in the background yeah. of every oh, shot. Yeah, the stage will be on the Eiffel Tower, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> Have France ever won the Junior Eurovision before? Have they? Junior? Uh huh. No. Their first? No, no. This is the first one. We finished second, I think, uh, not with Carla, but Jean de Saint Pois. Yeah, we finished second. But oh, I uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. love it. I'm waiting for the Eiffel Tower. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> Meet you all at the Eiffel Tower in November. 2021. You can't miss yep. it. It's this big pointy thing <laughs> in the sky. Yeah, yeah. And, oh, I and I will be there with my big flag, so you will not miss it. <laughs> a beret, a baguette, yeah. all the types. <laughs> Can you imagine the postcards though? They're probably gonna light up the Eiffel Tower with all of the country's colours. That yeah, would be really nice. Yeah. Oh. Mm. Love it. And I also hope that the postcards for last uh, last year, uh, next year, will be like regions of France that will that people doesn't really know. Like I live in Normandy and I don't live in Paris, so it would be very nice to see other things that the Eiffel Tower, you know. But also like all France and everything. So yeah, I think this. Yeah, I want this. <laughs> Julia, how do you feel about France's win? I love this song so much and from the start when I heard this the first time I just loved it so much I've played this song so many times on my phone and She really deserved to win. She's amazing. She's so adorable amazing song um, Yeah, I agree. I think she deserved to win 100% But I feel that about all the songs actually I felt like whoever would have won and would have deserved it You know, mm -hmm. because I think mm -hmm. they did an amazing job, but I'm very happy for her I'm very happy for her. Iago, there's a lot of love for you in the chat. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there is a lot of love, as there I should mean, be. Yeah. Well, what no, do you want to say about the winner? No, I'm sorry about people saying that I look like super sad, but they need to understand that sometimes we are not like always happy and always like, yeah. So what can I say? But no, uh, of course, you know, my winner was Spain. Still, you know, France was one of my winners. I love the song since the first listen. She was cute. Uh, the staging was great. They deserve winning. I'm really happy that one country that is closer to us because it's weird seeing, I don't know, yeah. Germany, France, these countries winning, yes, from, from Europe. So I'm happy for that. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, I hope next year we have like a real, 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 real and amazing uh, Junior Eurovision in Paris. So I hope I can visit also coming back. I, I'm wishing, I wish to come back to, pa to Paris because I love it. So it's, it will be the nice time and the perfect time to do it. Maybe our live hub hangout will be an actual hangout with a couple of us there <gasps> in person. Yeah. Yeah, that would be amazing. And we should shout out to Spain too, because mm -hmm. very similarly to France, you know, returning recently, Spain is also on this trajectory that's really promising. 
And I just don't think it's going to be long until we have junior Eurovision in Iago's back garden. <laughs> back garden. If you'll invite us, please. I don't have a back <laughs> I don't have a back garden, but we can just rent one if you want. <laughs> please, oh, so much please. I'm so here for it. Um, and I have a big garden and I'm two hours away from Paris, so okay. I know. But okay. <laughs> um, do let us know in the chat what you think of France winning. Personally, it was in my top three, um, so I'm pretty happy. Um, Lovely to see the French winning, uh, just to see somebody different winning. Valentina is so cute when it was cutting to the green room and when she was getting 12 points and she was just jumping and she's so small, but she was jumping so Sorry. high. And oh, I had tears in my eyes. I was talking to a couple of friends uh, as the results were coming in and I was crying just for her because she's so adorable and she's mm. an amazing performer. And yeah, I just think France deserves it um, this time around. One hundred percent. Julia said so many countries would have deserved it, and mm -hmm. I've seen Sandra as well saying in the chat, "Yes, it's a children's competition, guys. We're here mm -hmm. to celebrate mm -hmm. the children's talent and their beautiful, beautiful songs." Mm -hmm. So let's check in with the chat. Micah's here. Hi, Micah. She says that France deserved to win. Mick is pointing out forty-three years. Um, Florence saying France is her second, and there's a lot of mixed reactions, but I mean, that's good. Not everybody's going to always agree on these winners. Yeah. Um, there's I mean, a lot of, sorry, Julia. No, I was going to say, there's a lot of um, people commenting about countries they want to want to come back to the competition. Mm -hmm. And I just want to say first, people say, like, yeah, yeah, let's put Sweden back. Really? <laughs> really? <laughs> I don't agree. <laughs> Why not, Julia? I don't know. I, I feel like the I song. Yeah. <laughs> I, have it ready. I have it ready. So, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. When I watched the video, when we reacted to Sweden being the Junior Eurovision, I just like, I don't know. I feel like we're, I think Junior is just better without us. <laughs> But if people wanted to come back, then obviously. But I think Junior Eurovision isn't as big over here because um, mm. we have the Melfest Junior, uh, yeah. but we haven't had that since like 2014 because people were really, really watching it. Um, but who knows? Who knows? It doesn't seem to be the Nordics thing as much as other parts of Europe, yeah. just for. We did actually reason. have, we had a junior Eurovision Nordic version for a couple of years mm. when it was only the Scandinavian countries. And that actually did a lot better, like with a lot of viewers. But that was a long time ago. That's like 10 years ago. So I don't know. I'm seeing some love for Ireland and Wales in the chat. Yes, oh. Matthew. I, he says they better return or I will represent Ireland myself. <laughs> yes, yes, I join you on that hype train. Um, I was talking to some friends about this even just today, and it is such a huge platform for Celtic languages. Um, Irish is a sparsely spoken language now, and Welsh too. And it would just be really great for those two languages to get their platform back. So hopefully next year I will hear my language and the Welsh language back on the stage again. That would be really, really amazing. That would be awesome. Yeah. 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 It's a really beautiful language. It's really mystical. And yeah, I'd like us to come back and I don't know, we're the home of Eurovision. Dublin is the home of Eurovision, six time host city. Why can't we bring Junior here? And the fact that it's a different broadcaster who runs Junior here. And their base is like out in the west of Ireland, like really, really rural. So I would love us to win junior and then host it like somewhere really random, like in a field, in a farm or something. I just think that would be that would be good fun. That would make junior super interesting. But um, speaking of hosting and settings, we haven't even really touched much upon the hosting this year and the way that they did the stage. And we saw some holograms being used an awful lot of editing, a lot of tech was used. How did you guys feel it worked? And let us know in the chat as well, how did you feel it all worked out this year? Who wants to start? <laughs> <laughs> Silence. No, well, I think it went really well. 
I think it's like it's obviously a very different situation that we're in, and you know, like I was very nervous when it came to that because you like how are we gonna do this? But I think they actually went really well. Like it really felt like they were all there. It really felt like we all are united in a way. So I think they nailed it. I don't know how they would have done that differently. Obviously, yeah. everything being live, everybody there. But you know, we can't do that. Um, I really enjoyed. It. I think it was nice. For me, I think also it was a good point having like this little audience there on the stage. Like mm -hmm. even if there were just a few. But for me, I mean, I love this new technology, the ways they are implementing it, but there's nothing like a warming audience. Like they're like, ah, ah, screaming the songs, screaming their names. I need that. And I hope we can have that next year. We mm -hmm. can apply also this new technology, but with the Eurovision we know, please. Yeah, and I really like, because like all this performance was recorded then like, for example, Valentina recorded in Paris and we didn't even see the difference of the stage. And I think it was pretty good because we will be really lost if this wasn't the case. So yeah, I think this was this was pretty good as well. And the hologram, we didn't even see the holograms at the beginning. And then of course the live performance with everyone, it was a bit awkward because we're, we are not used to see holograms of everyone on stage, but I think the the song was pretty so cute and it was so well fitted for for the experience and for for the show so yeah i think it was pretty good yeah i agree and i think it's um it's just a good sign for 2021 i mean we already know bless you we already know that the ebu are planning ahead for adult eurovision and what's to come and i think it as you guys said it ran pretty smoothly all yeah. things considered um so it was a pretty good show overall and as i said i just loved the move the world segment where they were it was like they were all together <laughs> they weren't and i was thinking of our team with the editing i was like that is supreme editing like yeah. we've got a strong editing team on our team and mm -hmm. iago and me so many of you do an amazing job but i was just blown away by the holograms in this show yeah it was really, really cool um I think we're going to wrap up pretty soon, but we should take a couple of more questions from the chat before we go. So feel free to type them in the chat, guys. Um, I did see one very interesting question. I missed who it was from about how do we feel about Kazakhstan? Would we like to see them in adults? Do we think they've earned their place? In short, I think, yes, I'd like to see them. The more the merrier. How do you guys feel? Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, if we can have Australia, why not Kazakhstan? You know, yeah, true. that would be amazing because I love the thought of Eurovision not just being in Europe. It's actually like inviting more countries. I would love to see Kazakhstan in the Eurovision. Yeah, sure. where can I sign up? Can I sign some <laughs> petition? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Um, we've been asked about the performance from Belarus, which we actually didn't really get to touch on too much. Mm -hmm. Did you guys enjoy it? <sighs> That was a moment. I mean, that song is so powerful. It's like so many emotions all at the same time. And that girl can sing. She has, oh my God, I want her voice. <laughs> I want to be able to sing like that. It I, was, I also want her jacket. <laughs> that too. I want the suit from Serbia. That yeah. large white orange thing amazing i want that <laughs> candy cane like a christmas thing i think like a candy cane. Christmas <laughs> it, no, it was impressive i think belarus should send songs like that to the adult wow. eurovision yeah. and definitely i mean the audience is so different so they would collect maybe that song could be a top 10 or a top five in in the in the adult eurovision if they sing live by the way but yeah, definitely a top 10 or a top five. But that was one of my favorites. For mm -hmm. sure. It was really strong. I want to address as well, because there has been a couple of comments in the chat asking us to talk about the nature of some songs being live or specular speculation and so on around them. And I mean, all we can say, guys, is we're not the EBU. We're not TVP. We just watched the show and we took it at face value. And at the end of the day, it's a children's competition. We're here to enjoy the songs and to celebrate them. So I don't really think we have anything further to say on that, on speculation. We're here to enjoy the show. 
same as all of you and the children were absolutely amazing um yeah one That's thing cool. i saw we haven't talked about the fact that armenia decided not to be on this year which is sad you know mm -hmm. they always bring the bops they always bring amazing songs do we think they're coming back next year or are they like all for good no i think they'll be back their yeah. song did you hear it it was really good the one they mm -hmm. were going to send yeah but well i think it is because of the pandemic i think probably yeah i think lots of countries wanted to come and i think the pandemic just stopped this yeah mm -hmm. yeah joanne comments we should be the edu <laughs> <laughs> i wish <laughs> get me that job oh yeah. um what a dream job right <laughs> maple asks what do we think about malta uh, I loved that. That was really cute. Loved the balloon, loved the staging. Mm -hmm. Julia's a fan. I love yeah. Chanel so much. Like that girl, because I interviewed her, is an absolute angel. I'm so proud of her. Like, I feel like she's like, I have to say it's my child, but I feel like I know her. You know what I mean? Yeah. I am so proud of her. She did such an amazing job. She can sing like no other. My goodness. And oh my God. Loved it. Loved it. For sure. Well, I think we're going to wrap up pretty soon, guys. Before we go, can you please let's spam the chat with your favorite entry from this year's Junior Eurovision Song Contest 2020? Or you can cheat like me and say your favorite two or three. We're going to go around <laughs> to our reactors before we go with any final thoughts and our favorite entries from this year. I'm sticking with my flags, I'm sticking with my guns, Netherlands. Spain, France, amazing top three for me. It's 2020, we needed these upbeat songs mm -hmm. and I will forever, forever love them, especially my girls Unity from the Netherlands. Mm. I'm sticking with my top three as well. It is Spain, it is France and it's the Netherlands. And I'm squeezing in Kazakhstan in there as well. It's amazing, Sweet. amazing, <laughs> I'm squeezing them in. <laughs> Well, me, I have a pretty different uh, top three. I think I would be Belarus and Ukraine as well. I love Ukraine. And I would say France, because, but I'm from France, so it's like a bit cheating. You can. So you can. So I'm gonna, you won. You have can, you can too. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. <laughs> so I say France. <laughs> yeah, I would say that before the show, Spain, uh, France, France, the Netherlands, and Belarus, and after the show, Spain, <laughs> and Kazakhstan, because I really like that performance, um, and the Netherlands, yeah. Because you are my best friend. <laughs> In every and day, Georgia, I... and Germany, and Serbia. I want to squeeze all of them. <laughs> Ukraine uh, did a good job, too. I just want to say, Ukraine yeah. was amazing. Awesome. It really, really was. Well, we could be here all day going through them all, but I think we're going to leave it there and let those results soak in. And we can breathe again. The <laughs> next contest, guys, it's going to be in May. So let's stay tuned to Eurovision Hub for everything we've got coming up. Albania is probably going to hit us first. So, so excited. Stay tuned for everything that we have to come. And in the meantime, have lovely holidays, have a lovely break, whatever you celebrate. And we will be here in the new year at Eurovision Hub to break everything down all together once again for 2021. We've never needed a new Eurovision season so much. I yeah, don't agree. think. I agree. Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's us signing off. It's bye from me. Au revoir. Bye. Hey, Doa. Bye.